Halloween is right around the corner. Angela Kelly's getting into the spirit this morning at Pedal Pusher in Alloway. Good morning, Ange. I guess you're in the spirit. I, I, I love it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not in any sort of Halloween spirit. This is just something I would wear every day. Sure. I mean, come on. Lots of fun stuff here, you guys, at Pedal Pusher in Alloway. And so, of course, we all know Nicole Campbell. She does so many um, fun decorating things for us. And so we had to come to her for Halloween and fall and decorating our front doors. Yep. Um, this look I like because I am always envious of all those other people who have a fun colored front door, but yet I'm not brave enough to actually repaint my door a fun color. So I came up with the idea of just taking a beautiful panel of fabric, and then you can change this out seasonally and let this be a fun way to not commit, but yet have a little fun with a different color. Mm -hmm. um, I've got this beautiful kind of burnt orange, and to hold it on your door, just use a flat-headed thumbtack right along the top of the door so you can still get that shot and yeah, it's not going to be a problem. Right up here, right? Exactly. Okay. Yep, it's a great way to do it. No big commitment. The wreath I've got on top of this is a twig base and then it's all guinea hen feathers. And anybody that knows me knows how fond I am of guinea hen. And then we used a copper wire, just a decorative wire to bring a little bit of the color of the fabric into the wreath. Mm -hmm. It looks great. Thank you. I love it. And then over here, this is another fun option. These are the paper mache letters you can buy at the craft store. Um, this would be beautiful as a door hanging. We've just held them with fishing line. A nice alternative to a wreath. You can spell out whatever you want, have a little mm -hmm. fun with it. Just a nice, easy, and because they're paper mache, super lightweight and easy to yeah, hang. Yeah, and you can decorate them however you want. Exactly. Too. Different scrapbook papers and ribbons and trim. Mm -hmm. You can have a lot of fun with that. Mm -hmm. I love this wreath. This one is one of my personal favorites. It kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit <laughs> um, because it's all about spiders. We've got this twig base again and then all the different mosses on here. I love the pop of the chartreuse screen. I think it's a fun color that we don't see enough of at this time of year. And then I use those little gum pods on there because they kind of remind me of spider eggs, oh. which is the heebie-jeebie part, but yeah. it's a fun texture on there and just a fun look that until you get close to, you really don't know what you're looking at exactly. until you get close enough. Exactly. So. Well, it's gorgeous. You did a great Thank job. You. Thank and you. And what are we doing next? The party, right? Yes. The next segment, we're going to take things inside and do some fun looks for the table and for your hol or, uh, Halloween entertaining. Yeah. Can't wait for that. Yeah. And I'm going to find a new hat and maybe some new <laughs> shades to wear, too. We'll see you guys. Looking good.